Hey guys, welcome back to Sam Resolve. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to remove background with DaVinci Resolve 20's new AI Magic Mask. So let's get started. So right here, I have a clip of a person talking and then I'm just gonna drag and drop into the timeline. And then right here, I just have a few seconds of my subject and it's white background not behind a green screen apparently so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go to the color tab and then we're gonna we're gonna convert this lock footage back to 709 first Panasonic V gamut like 709 gamut 2.4 and then we're gonna bright brighten it up uh, just a little bit just until it looks decent and then right here we're gonna right click on the note window and then we're gonna add alpha output and then we can see there's a new blue dot right here and that is for the alpha channel and then we're gonna right click here add a new node for our mask we're gonna select this and then we're gonna go to AI magic mask 2 which is this window right here click on it and then we're gonna enable our mask overlay first and then we're gonna start selecting our subject so let's uh, click right here and then it's gonna run for a little bit and it's gonna select our selection so the red color means it has been selected and then we have the hair selected let's click the shirt okay right now it's got the whole thing selected and then we're gonna come here to our subtract click and we're gonna click on the wall because we wanna subtract the wall. We want to remove the background, remember? And we have our wall selected, left and right. And then we're gonna go to quality better. You can do faster if you're in a hurry. But right now we're gonna go for quality and we're gonna go for better. And then we're gonna come here to our node. There's a blue alpha output over here. We're gonna connect to alpha this dot right here and then we're gonna release and we're gonna close this mask overlay and there you go this is our mask overlay right here but not yet we're gonna track our footage back and forth with this track forward and reverse and just let it run for a little bit so after the tracking is done we can go back to our footage and play back to see the result and right here because AI magic mask they actually reach the footage they know that this is a person talking and then we can and then it's gonna make selection according to what we clicked on we can go in here and refine our mask but then after we refine it we have to track it one more time so this is just a rough example right here i have another footage just to you know make a another extreme example i'm just gonna select a portion of the video so why do I say this video is a little bit more extreme and that is because right now our subject is actually wearing a white t-shirt instead of blue just like just now. Right here this is blue and then this is white. White t-shirt and a white background is a big no-no for you know any types of background removing unless you're using a green screen or a blue screen red screen white t-shirt is actually okay but if you do not have any screen behind you and you and your subject is wearing the same color as the background that's gonna be a lot harder to remove so let's give you an example I'm gonna create an alpha output and then create a new node and then use AI magic mask we're gonna mask out our subject let's click on the shirt first so AI Magic Mask is actually reading what is inside the footage instead of just the color. So we're gonna select the shirt, we're gonna select the hands, and then right now the AI Magic Mask knows that we are we want to mask this person out. And we can see the hair here is kind of not in the mask. We, we can add another dot, we can add another point right here, and then we actually want to also the iPad. We would also this part of the iPad and then we want to keep our walls out of our selection so we're gonna hit we're gonna go to subtract click 
We're gonna click on the walls. After we're done our selection, we can connect this output to the dot right here. And then we're gonna close this mask overlay to see our result. That actually went pretty well. So right now our quality is at faster. The edge is actually a kind of jagged instead of what we have just now. So we're gonna track it in the faster quality. We have our background removed and then we can see that there is actually a very harsh line between our subject and the background. But once we give it a background to use, it should look a little bit more normal. Yeah, it still looks kind of weird. Let's give it another background, maybe this one. Maybe her in the jungle. Subject in the jungle looks pretty normal to me, so yeah. So guys, that's it for the video and that is how you use AI Magic Mask to remove background from your subject if you do not have a green screen. This is pretty useful sometimes like when you're in a rush and you don't have a green screen or you don't have the money to get one because some green screen actually costs a lot of money. If this video helps you out, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing for more DaVinci Resolve tutorial. I'll be posting video every week and I hope to see you guys in my next video. So take care and goodbye.